Hello, it's your friendly neighbourhood monster slayer here. So I'm guessing if you're watching this video, then you're having a little bit of a struggle. So I can totally, totally relate to being in that struggle. The point of this video this morning was to <coughs> give you a little bit of a hand if you're in that place. So it is now just coming up on seven o'clock in the morning. And for what I have to do today, I don't have to actually get out of bed this morning till half past seven. That would have been the time that my alarm clock would have gone off. Gone off. And I'm not great at getting up really early in the morning. I'm not great at getting up before my alarm goes off. So one of the things that I did today was <laughs> I woke up and had the idea to make this video. The idea came into my mind to come down and make this video for you. And it was 20 to seven. And I kind of looked at my clock and thought, well, actually, you don't have to be up till half past seven. Why don't you do it later? We can fit it in between this and that and stuff. Um, the next thought I had was, <laughs> when we're in this struggle, one of the things that happens is we have thoughts that are quite helpful to us. And then we dismiss those thoughts and decide to do something else. So then I thought, why don't you just get up now and do this video? And then I had this thing going on in my mind, nah, just roll over, you know, it's comfy here, it's nice. And then this, no, get up and do the video. And part of the reason that I'm actually here, sat in front of the camera, without combing my hair and with no makeup on, is to show you um, that I've, that I had my struggle about that this morning, whether to do this, whether to show up and actually do this. And I decided to do it. And... However much it looks as if the struggle that's going on in your mind is different to that struggle, it's not. It's just you have a thought of something that's useful for you to do. Get up, have a shower, change your job. up. It can be anything, but you can have a thought that is a wisdom thought. Like my thought this morning to just get up and talk to you, to make this video, to make the time to do this. That was a wisdom thought. That kind of came quietly and kind of said, yeah, do you know what? Actually do that. And then fear kicked in. Fear that if I get in front of the camera without combing my hair, with no makeup on, if I just turn up and do this video, you're going to think I'm stupid. You're not going to think I'm good enough. Whatever the flavour of fear is, it's fear that kicks in then that tells us that the idea that we had wasn't such a great idea after all. And... <coughs> It's managing to follow the thought that's actually going to be helpful to you and get up and do this. And it's important for me personally, as part of this journey, to walk my talk, to do this, to turn up and make this video. So the only thing that we ever have to fear and the only thing that we're ever, ever up against, no matter what it looks like, is our own mind. This morning, the only thing that would have stopped me making this video is my own mind, my own thinking. There's no reason for me not to do it, no physical reason. I'm perfectly capable and I've got my computer, I've got everything I need to make this video. But my mind was telling me different. My mind was giving me a million reasons why I couldn't do that. And I know, you know, there is many, many times when I haven't shown up and I haven't done these things. I've listened to my thinking that said, no, don't do it, you'll look stupid, you're not good enough, people won't listen to you, all of those things. And there came, there's, there's come a time in my life when I want something different. And I know, the person that I'm particularly making this video for, I know we had a discussion yesterday, and you said to me, you want something different. So I am here this morning to lead the way and to show you that to have something different, all we've got to do is take one small step to doing something different. When my mind said to me this morning, no, don't get up, just roll over, go back to sleep. I knew in that moment I had the choice whether to get up and get in the shower and come down here and make this video or whether to roll back over and go to bed, go back, stay, stay in bed, stay asleep. And I know yesterday we talked about the shower, having a shower, how hard it can be sometimes. Actually, you know, you know that you have all the capability to get in the shower, wash your hair, do whatever it is, but sometimes that can feel really, really tough. Well, the only thing that's stopping you from doing that is your own mind telling you that it's tough. 
the actual doing of it, actually sitting here talking to you like this, actually sitting here making this video, isn't that tough for me. And yet my mind was telling me that it was something that I shouldn't do. So just taking one tiny small step towards doing that makes a huge difference. And if you don't manage it, all the other mornings in my life when I've actually not listened to that voice and I've turned over and I've gone back to sleep, I'm good with that. I'm not going to beat myself up and I'm not going to be mean or cruel to myself. I just know that I want something different moving forward. So I'm going to look to understand my own mind more. I'm going to look to bring this back to me. And I suppose that's what I did and that's what I'm inviting you to do. Bring this back to you. After our conversation yesterday, I stopped and looked in my life where I'm not showing up and doing the things that I want to do. And here I am, I'm doing something slightly different. So bring this back to you. When you're not doing the things that you want to do, don't beat yourself up, don't get cross. Take one small step to doing what it is you want to do, to achieving what it is you want to achieve. The smallest manageable step, the tiniest little bit of where your mind's telling you it's one thing, go in the opposite direction. I know you've heard me say that absolutely loads of times. Go in the opposite direction to where your mind wants to take you. What our mind tends to do when we have these conversations is argue. It's like if <clears throat> when my mind was telling me not to get up this morning, if I'd been having a conversation with someone about this, I would have been saying, well, it's just too hard to get up in the morning. <clears throat> And if someone had come back at me and said, well, you know, just take one small step, you can do this. My mind straight away would have found a reason why I couldn't. Well, that's where I'm inviting you actually to go in the opposite direction. When your mind comes back with, well, no, you can't do this, well, whatever. I don't know what your mind says to you. I don't know what your mind does, but I'm guessing it does the same things that my mind does to me. It'll just be words that hook you in, words that you would fall for. So when those words come in your mind, what's the opposite to what those words are saying? Like this morning for me, when the words were saying, oh, you know, it's nice and warm in bed, you can snuggle back down. I could also say, yeah, I can, but what's the opposite of snuggling back down? Getting up and getting in the shower, showing up and making this video. And I could look in the opposite direction and see my two options. And from past experience, what I know from the past is, if I had have taken the option to stay in bed, I wouldn't have done this video, I wouldn't have taken the next step, I wouldn't have done what I wanted to do. Now, all of that would be, would be fine, and there's no need to be angry with myself for not doing that. But I, having set myself this goal to do something different, to be different in my life, I decided that that was the choice I was going to follow. So... <clears throat> I know from the conversation we had that you've set a choice that you want something different in your life. You don't want this. You don't want this struggle. So if you've got two things going in your mark, going on in your mind, do something that you know you want to do, and then your mind coming back at you and saying, "No, you don't. Don't do that. Don't whatever it is. Don't do it." Well, take a breath and just take one small step towards doing that. Whatever that small step is, just take that small step towards doing it. And just starting, just taking one small step will make, it will make a huge difference. And you'll see that actually what you're up against, the thinking that you're having is just, it's like a cloud in the sky. It is like a big, it might look like a big thunder cloud. It might look grey and it might look threatening and it might look like it can beat you. But actually it can't, it's just steam or air or whatever. It's nothing that you can't get past. A thought that's telling you that you can't do something is just that, it has no power over you. You can do it. And the proof that you can do it is the fact that I'm here sat in front of a camera with no makeup on, having not even combed my hair. Because that was a deal that I made for myself. I know that some of the things that I'm asking you are quite hard but showing up and doing them are possible. So 
I know that if I can do this, you can do this. Because I know that underneath your thinking, you're no different to me. We are exactly the same. We are the oneness. So if it's possible for me to get up, show up and do this, it's possible for you to take one small step towards doing what it is you want to do, to changing everything. And the most, the hugest changes that happen in our lives, the hugest things that we ever accomplish start with very, very small steps. And it's looking at them as a whole, looking at them as such a huge thing that sometimes allow us to listen to the thinking that we're having because it, it feels so real and it feels so true when it says we can't accomplish these huge things. But taking one small step, now that's possible for anyone. Any one of us can get past, just sneak past just a little bit of our thinking and take one small step. And the brilliant thing about thought is, as it changes and as it begins to lift and as, it, as, as, as soon as our thinking does that, we just see something totally, totally different. Our world begins to look completely and utterly different. Our thinking in the moment looks real and true in that moment. And often when we end up in conversations with people about this, we actually end up defending the thinking we're having and explaining why it's real and why it's true. And interestingly, for me, the whole bring it back to you thing is questioning that. Is it true? When I had the thought in the moment that, you know, the best thing for me to do was to just stay quiet, snuggle back under the duvet, that looked like, you know, that was the best idea. Certainly looked like it was a better idea than doing this. But actually, now I'm here and this video's in the making, it's making itself. I can see that this was by far the better idea for me. This was by far what the better thing for me to be doing today. And I'm really glad that I did get up and I'm really glad that I did make this video. And my thinking around it has hugely lifted. I feel actually quite comfortable here now. It feels actually quite nice to be talking to you. Now, I really, really, really hope that this has been helpful to you. Um, I'm going to make some more videos like this for you. So just let me know if it's been helpful or not. Take care and have a really, really, really good day. And whenever you can, just take those small steps. And just notice that at some point through the day today, your thinking is going to have lifted and is going to change. And you are going to have moments, however small, of feeling perfectly okay. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Lots of love.